All right, some emotional moments out of Chester, Pennsylvania tonight, where a disabled veteran is honored just before the start of the Army Navy. Yeah, Cup. and Ian, really so emotional because the man who was paralyzed while serving his country got up and walked. Fox 29, Seanette Wilson has a story of a military hero changing lives. Psychologically, it's it's definitely helped me out. Um, definitely have a you know better outlook on uh, on the future. Dan Rose, an Army veteran, is walking again after he was paralyzed serving in Afghanistan. He's the first person to receive this exoskeleton device that enables him to walk. It was amazing. I mean, just to you know to be able to stand up again and like look across the room. I mean, it was. You know, I, I, I can't even think of any words to describe the feeling. Friday night, Dan was honored at the Army-Navy Cup at PPL Park in Chester. He joined members of Soldier Socks, an organization that donates various necessities to soldiers returning home. He suited up before the game crowd and walked in the midst of a standing ovation. I mean, it was just a rush of emotion, you know, and it was something that right away after I got injured, they told me I could never walk again, so I had kind of just given up on the hope of ever doing it again. Dan's device was donated. He will help its creators look at the secondary benefits of standing and walking it provides after paralysis. Lisa Hughes is a physical therapist who helps him. The exoskeleton is a, a robotic exoskeleton that um, basically when Dan's in the device, he uh, shifts his weight certain ways and the device then senses uh, his weight shifts and will move his legs for him. The group has recorded several videos of Dan using the exoskeleton he says watching himself is a feeling that's hard to describe. It's kind of crazy to see myself standing again, you know, um, you know, when I'm in the device and, you know, just walking around, I, I use the device at home as well. Um, you know, you never really get that perspective of being able to see myself again. Or, and, uh, and it's great, you know, it's like I, I didn't. You know, I kind of forgot, you know, how tall I was. Dan is using the exoskeleton as part of a study. It will help the company make improvements for people with different injuries who might need it. In Chester, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.